Hello, welcome back to Math 8. Um, this is a video over Section 2, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, actually using graphs to solve the systems. Uh, what we had done in the past was, um, you know, in the last section was we just looked at what the solutions look like. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to graph these equations and, um, and find solutions using the graph. So, uh, let's go ahead, let's take a look at our objectives real quick. Uh, rewrite a system of linear equations in slope-intercept form. Okay, graph linear systems on the coordinate plane. Determine the solution of the linear system from the graph. So, uh, let's jump in here. Uh, in this first one, uh, what I want to do is graph both of these equations, okay? Now, this equation, this first equation here, I'm going to graph in red, all right? Now, what I want to identify, first of all, is that these are all in slope-intercept form. Okay, they're all of the form, okay, so this is the first thing you want to do, all right, and that's important, is that make sure equations are in slope intercept form, okay, and what that means, remember, is that in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. Okay, so uh, from this, all right, what I want to do is identify my slope. So it's the, always the number that's in front of the x, okay, and if there is no number, then my slope is simply just positive 1. Okay, my y-intercept in this case is equal to 2. All right, now in the second equation, what I've got, uh, my slope is equal to positive 5, and my y-intercept is equal to negative 6. Okay, so just, uh, first of all, just identifying those from these two equations is what we need to be able to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to graph my red equation, okay, and that has a slope-intercept or a y-intercept of 2. Okay, and then a slope of 1. So I'm going to go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. Okay, and continue this, this path, all right? And I'm going to go the other way too, all right? And this is something that we've done before, all right? So we have to understand how to do this in order to, um, you know, do these problems. So I'm going to connect my dots here, all right, and draw my line, okay? And that's that. All right, on the next one, uh, we start at negative 6. Let me change my color to blue. Uh, we start down here at negative 6. That's my first point. And then what I'm going to do is I have a slope of 5, okay? And 5 means I'm going to go up 5 over 1. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1 and plot a point, okay? And then I'm going to do the exact same thing, okay? I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1, all right, and plot another point, okay? Um, and that's pretty much all I can do. Now, I'm going to connect these with a line, okay? And what I notice is what, you know, what I'm looking for is this point of intersection. Now, remember, I call this my happy place, okay? Whoops, I don't want to use that. Use yellow. This is my happy place, all right? That's where... I find happiness on both of these equations, okay? So based on, just based off doing that, what I want to do is write that as my solution. So my solution would be 2, 4, all right? And that's the point where those intersect. So what I'm going to do now is write out my solution, okay? And that's going to be 2, 4. Now, what I can do is check to see if I'm right, okay? So um, let's do that over here. Um, all right, so let me check this here. Um, and so we can always check our solutions, all right? So um, I'm going to write down my first equation, which was y equals x plus 2. Remember what I know is that uh, my solution is um, x equals 2 and y equals 4. So if I plug those in, 4 equals 2 plus 2. 4 is equal to 4. That's true, so this checks out. Okay, let's do it for the second equation. Um, y equals 5x minus 6. Let's plug in 4 for y. 
and that's equal to 5 times 2 minus 6. So 4 is equal to 5 times 2 is 10 minus 6. 10 minus 6 gives me 4, okay, and 4 is equal to 4. So that's true, so that works, okay? And so that's how we can verify that we're correct, all right? Um, let's go down here and check these solutions, okay? So we want to verify these, all right? So, um, you know, one thing I want to do is, you know, they is just plug these values in, all right? So let's check the first equation. Let's check uh, y equals negative x. Now, let's remember that they gave us this solution here, and that x is equal to negative 2, and that y is equal to 2. All right, so let's plug those in. Now, I'm going to plug in 2 for y, okay? But then negative x, okay? So negative, when I plug in negative 2 for x, I'm going to put it in parentheses here. So now I have the opposite of negative 2. All right, so then we get that 2 is equal to positive 2. That's true, so this checks out, okay? Let's do it for the second one. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, y equals 2x plus 6. Uh, I'm going to plug in negative 2 and 2 in for x and y. So x equals negative 2 and y equals positive 2. So positive 2 over here is equal to 2 times negative 2 and then plus 6. So 2 is equal to 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, plus 6. So 2 is equal to negative 2 here. I'm sorry. 2 is equal to positive 2. All right. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. That's a true statement, so this works. All right. And that's all we're doing on those. Okay. All right. This next one, okay, we want to rewrite these equations in slope-intercept form and graph the system of equations. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at each of these equations uh, and let's rewrite them so that they're more usable. All right. So, um, you know, let's start with the first one. 3x, and let me change colors here. Let me do this in red. Uh, 3x plus y is equal to 1. Okay. Now, remember, in slope intercept form, all right, this here, okay, this is in the form y equals mx plus b. So what you want to do, okay, is solve this equation for y. So solve for y, okay, to put things into slope-intercept form. So here's y as I see it. All I want to do is move my 3x over. So in order to move my 3x to the other side and isolate my y variable, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, okay? And so here's what I get. I'm going to get that y is equal to negative 3x plus 1, okay? This is one of my equations, okay? Now my next one, okay, is going to be the equation, uh, the next one, which is kind of a jumbled mess, but we've got 2 times the quantity x um, plus 2y, and that's equal to negative 16. So the first thing I'd want to do is, I, I, you know, my goal is to solve this equation for y, to isolate this equation for y. So let's first distribute our 2, okay? And so that's going to give us 2 times x, which is just 2x, plus 2 times 2y, 2 times 2 is 4, keep your variable, so that's 4y. And that's going to equal negative 16, okay? So now what I want to do is isolate my y variable. All right, so I'm same thing, okay? I'm going to move my term with an x over to the other side. So here I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, okay? And we're going to get 4y is equal to negative 2x minus 16. And I can't um, combine those because they're not like terms, okay? They don't, if the 16 contained an x, then I could, but since it doesn't, then I can't combine it. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is divide everything by 4, okay? So the 4s are going to divide out, and I'm left with y equals negative 2 over 4, okay? Now this fraction is going to simplify to negative 1 half. So I'm going to write negative 1 half x, and then negative 16 divided by 4 is going to give us an, uh, a negative 4, all right? So I have this equation here. So now I've got both of my equations in slope-intercept form, okay? They're all in the form y equals mx plus b. So what I want to do over here, okay, is identify what my slope is and then identify what my y-intercept is. So over here, my slope is negative 3, okay? That's my slope. Y-intercept is positive 1, all right? So that's that. Um, over here, I'm going to identify that my slope 
is equal to negative one half and my y intercept is equal to negative four. All right, and so those are my uh, values for that. All right, so now uh, over here I want to graph this. So here's my starting point, my y intercept. Okay, so that's a positive one. All right, and then I'm going to go down three to the right one. So down uh, one, two, three over one. Okay, down three over one. And then down three over one. Okay, um, up over here. I'm going to go up one, two, three to the left one. Up one, two, three to the left one. Okay, and those are my points. All right. And let's connect them with a line. Okay, and that's that. Okay, now over here, I've got a y-intercept of negative 4. Okay, so down here at negative 4. And then a slope of negative 1 half. So down 1 to the right 2. Down 1 to the right 2. Okay, and so forth. All right, up 1 to the left 2. Up 1 to the left 2. Okay, and we can already kind of see our solution. All right. And that's that. All right. So remember, what we're looking for is our happy place. All right. Which is going to be right here. All right. And that's going to be the point 2, comma, negative 5. All right. And that's it. All right. So then our solution to our system, our solution is going to be the point 2, comma, negative 5. All right. And I'm not going to check that right now uh, just for time purposes, but you can check to see if that's correct. Okay, let's take a look at the next page. Okay, so on this page, um, what we want to do is, again, put these equations into slope-intercept form. Okay, so remember, all right, it's important. Okay, we want to put in slope-intercept form, okay, which again, remember, that's just going to be y equals mx plus b, and we want to solve for y, okay, that's the idea. All right, so let's take a look at our first equation, uh, and that's going to be 6x plus 3y is equal to 9, okay, so first things first, I want to isolate my y variable, so I'm going to move my 6x to the other side. So my first step is to subtract 6x from both sides, okay? So that's going to leave me with 3y is equal to negative 6x plus 9, okay? And then I want to isolate my y, okay? 3y means I'm multiplying 3 by y, so the opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3, and I'm going to divide everything, everything, and I mean everything, by 3. So we get y equals negative 2x plus 3. And all I'm doing to get that is just dividing these numbers. Negative 6 divided by 3 gives me negative 2. 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. All right, so there's that equation. Okay. Now the next one that we've got is this is going to give us x plus 1 half y is equal to negative 2. Now, I want to isolate my y variable here, all right? So I'm going to move my x over, all right? And to do that, I would subtract by x on both sides, and I get 1 half y is equal to negative x minus 2. Now, um, to move my 1 half over to the other side, this is really important that you guys listen to this because this is going to help. All right, um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So you may encounter this again, and I don't want you to get stuck. So if I'm multiplying by a half, okay, this is the same thing as dividing by 2, okay? So in this step here, and let's write this down, okay, in big letters, multiplying, multiplying by one half is the same thing as dividing by two, okay? And this is going to help us do that, uh, help us solve, okay? If, if this is the same thing as dividing by two, what's the opposite of dividing by two? And that would be to multiply everything by two, okay? So what happens is, is that these are going to divide out, you're left with y equals 2 times negative x is going to give me negative 2x. 
And then 2 times negative 2 gives me negative 4, okay? And so that's my equation. So now think about what you have, all right? And this is going to give me a slope m equals negative 2, y-intercept of positive 3. Here my slope is going to be negative 2, and my y-intercept is going to be negative 4, all right? So let's first plot the, the red one. So positive 3 is my y-intercept, and then a slope of, what is that, negative 2? Okay, um, and so here we go. Down 2 to the left one, down to the left one, down to the left one. Okay, follow that same pattern all the way down. All right, uh, and let's go up 2 to the left one, up 2 to the left one. All right, um, maybe I said that wrong, but that's what we're doing. So let me make my line. Okay, now the next one, I've got a uh, slope or y intercept of negative 4 and a slope of negative 2. So y-intercept of negative 4 and a slope of negative 2. So down 2 to the right one, down 2 to the right one, up 2 to the left one, up 2 to the left one, up 2 to the left one. Hmm, something weird going on here. And it ain't me, but I am weird. But what you're realizing is that these lines on the graph, they're not intersecting. Huh, that's kind of crazy, all right? So what I'm noticing here is that these lines don't intersect. So the lines are actually parallel, okay? So if the lines are parallel, the lines don't intersect, and that's the definition of parallel, okay? Two lines that are run side by side that don't touch, okay? So lines don't intersect, okay? And... So the lines are parallel, lines don't intersect, therefore we have no solution, okay? And that's what we know. Now here's the other thing that I notice, okay? When we have parallel lines, parallel lines have the same slope, okay? So it's important that we identify all of these different things, okay? If you go through this and you notice, hey, wait a second, both of these lines have the same slope but different y-intercepts. What that's going to have and tell us is that they, if they have the same slope, that means that they're parallel, therefore we have no solution, okay? And that there is no x and y value that they share, okay? And so that's what we've got, all right? So, um, you know, um, and that's it. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.